In this exercise, I give you a list down here and ask you to make it look like this by using a symbol as a bullet. And I was actually having trouble finding this, so I thought it's worth mentioning to you that sometimes I find the one that I want just by Googling it. And here it's telling me to go to Arial and Miscellaneous Symbols. So we will give that a try. So select the list. You're going to click the drop down of the bullets. Define a new bullet. You have three choices. We'll be doing all of them, but we're doing symbol right now. That opens up the symbol list. Now at school you have a symbol list. You probably would have been able to find this. Uh, and look, there's the heart right here in symbol. Uh, and that's, I told you to go to wingdings or symbols. So here it is in symbol. I will also show you that uh, sometimes, uh, so when we were in symbol, notice there's nothing right here. Uh, and if I switch to Arial, like I was told, because it definitely wasn't in Wingdings. So my search told me Arial and to go into a subset. Now these are not in alphabetical order. And if you scroll through down here near the bottom, were miscellaneous symbols. And there's the heart there. And... I will say OK. And so now you can see in the preview I have the heart as the bullet character and I can just click OK.